hello there everybody we are playing night one night shift night one wait i gotta move that down so i can see what am all right hello 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 uh i wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled down your first night okay um i actually worked in an office before you why do i have i'm why finishing up my last week hours. now as a matter of fact um so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you that no, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, there isn't. You'll do fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, all right? Thank you. Uh, let's see here. Um, first is an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind okay. of a legal thing, you know. Um, yeah. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person upon discovering that damage or death has occurred. Why? The person report will be followed in 90 days. <sighs> That's terrifying. The property and the premise has been thoroughly cleaned and bleached, and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so that might sound bad, I know. It does. But there's nothing to worry about. Uh, the animatronics you sure about here that? do get a bit quirky at night. Sure but, I mean, do I blame them? No. I mean, if I were if I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable too at night. So, you know, remember these characters hold a special place in the need hearts of children, lights, I don't and really we need do to need to show them a little respect. All right. So, just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of like free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, so, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day too, but then there was a bite of 87, so... Mm. Yeah. It's amazing what the human body can do without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as the night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, um, if they do happen to see you after hours, they probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams and wires and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you could imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day would be your eyeballs and your teeth when they pop out of the front of the mask. <laughs> yes, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, you know, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras, and remember, close the doors only if absolutely necessary. You gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Good night. Wait, what the heck am I even saying? Alright. I'm bored. Like, this is actually, like, really well made. Like, quite a few of these, are uh, Roblox games. Also, I just now realize of how hard I have to, like, slam my mouse. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone living here? Hello? This darkness is like really well made. Like, I like how like like not even light just like gets outside of the door. Hmm. 
Also, sorry for the occasional audio problems. I don't know what it is, but, um, my laptop isn't the best thing to record on, so occasionally you might hear my, um, my audio stop working for all of a sudden. So you're no longer an issue. Wow, this is actually much easier than I thought. Oh! Outside my door, is it? Hmm. <sighs> I'm bored. If you don't really use the cameras, it's like really easy. I know there's a good quality, um, third installment. Fazbear Fright. Because I'm actually trying to find like a really good um sequel to this. Like something like just as good. But I can't. I mean like I'll play those games but only to see the levels or only see the nights. Wow, this is actually like really easy. Hmm. Also, like I'm, like it's not I'm turning it. I'm not turning off my microphone. It's like like I'm actually genuinely being quiet because I like have to hear, like I have to listen for those animatronics. me survived so to 5 a.m. And I, and I haven't even had to close the door once I was like oh they heard me This is like probably the most boring episode. You know what? I'm I'm gonna make commentary videos in the future, but I'm gonna be playing a uh, Roblox Speed Run, Death Run. I'm not the best at running games. Huh? That is actually kind of boring. <laughs> oh no. Can me? Like, I haven't checked my cameras. I haven't checked my cameras for like the past two hours. Hey, come on. Twenty power? Are you kidding me? Like, no, I should really uh shouldn't do that. most boring episode ever heck at least with um the night two episode oh also i'm gonna have to re-upload this because of the first one had like a bunch of like um like i just kept breathing into my microphone even night two at least had like some challenge to it like this was just too easy like i didn't even close the door once that's actually kind of sad if you think about it
Or I might have closed it once without her. Anyways, reached videos reached 10 minutes. The most I, the most time I can run for is like 20. <laughs> Which honestly, I'll probably make that happen in like uh, season two or three. Season two. Oh boy. I mean, season two shouldn't be too hard. Season three is gonna be the hardest because it's supposed to be the hardest game out of all of them. So um. Alright, I'm gonna do season three. Right after season two. Wait a second. I should have done season two before this. Cause FNAF 2 is supposed to be a prequel to the original FNAF games, and then FNAF 3 takes place after FNAF. After the original. Alright, it no, I've given up trying to explain it. It's extremely hard. Uh we really need some clarification on how the storyline goes. Anyways, uh, see you all in the next episode.